Hi everyone, this is Natasha and I had just ended a Ustream show and I wanted to show you what uh, we made. We as all the girls who um, stuck it out with me. Um, I use the Stamper's Best Notebook Paper Stamp, which is this one right here. And the Gears Background, which is this one right here. So I stamped um, several the, of these on regular uh, white cr um, cr from um, I think I just used the Staples cover stock and then I cut them out and made little filler sheets for the notebook. The covers are made out of two and a half by three and a half uh, size black report covers that were backed with craft paper on the inside for that um, natural feel. I also cut one in half and created pockets so you could stash one of these notes. Um, and these were stamped with uh, VersaFine Onyx Black. Then I cut them out, uh, used the corner punch, uh, the rounder quarter inch Making Memories Crocodile corner punch instead of cutting it so it was just easy straight cuts and then the corner punches. Then using this McGill, and I'm sorry, I don't know the diameter of that hole punch, but it matches exactly the holes that are on the notebook paper. Then the secondary thing that I did after I cut those out is I snipped a little piece of the paper right across, and you get you you know exactly where to cut because that's where the stamp is. So then you can pull them out easily or pop them back in if need, need be or you can tuck them in your little pockets and there's one in the front and there's one in the back. I added stitch lines with the Sakura Jelly Roll. And this one is in I think it's just white. Yep. Sorry. There you go. White. XPGB number 50. And it works really nicely on the black. Then on the cover, I stamped the gears using the super fine detail embossing powder in black from Ranger. And then on top of it is this whole assemblage of roses. I used this rose in the center, and I'll include a link to all of, as well as the codes on my blog to each of the products that I used. Also this. 25 millimeter open rose and this 15 millimeter open roses. We'll focus. There you go. And in addition, staggered throughout are these four millimeter rose buds. So let me show you close up what it looks like. So the large rose is a center, then the 25 millimeters flank it on either side, and then there's three 15 millimeters tucked around it, as well as the little rosebuds. And in between the rosebuds and the flowers are some gears, and uh, these are using the Lucky Squirrel uh, Poly Shrink, and I use the black. And then while before it was heat and shrunk, I used the uh, white gel pen to draw some little dash lines and that's what they look like when they are shrunken up. So I have one right here, one right there, one right here, and there's a little black one behind the little bling. And then these are just little faux blings that I have. I think these are 10 millimeters that are in my stash so I put them all throughout. So it's masculine and feminine all at the same time. It's dainty and rustic and rugged. This looks like leather, feels like leather. So there's stitch lines around the front and around the back and on the inside of each of the pockets. So it's a really quick little project to make using um, these stamps and all of these little accoutrements and I'll have a full listing of all these products on my blog. If you have any questions for me, please leave me a comment. Otherwise, I encourage you to stop by both the Wild Rocker Craft Design Team channel and the Stampers Best to check out all these products. If you have any questions for me, please leave me a comment. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching.